Sure, go for Can it. Can you record about having that recording button in your recording? No. And it drives me nuts. I, I use this, but I don't have that button. I, I use the same thing, but I get it somewhere else. Okay, yeah. You have to go through a series of menus. There. I just hate that that's there and recording. Yeah. If you go to Smart Technology, you go to your menus. Yeah. Uh, you can't, you, no. You don't want to. Well, you can. I, I like to have it there. The reason I like to have it there is because it tells me how many seconds I have, and if I need to pause it, you don't want to go hunting for it down in your toolbars. Okay? You want, just want to be able to pause it. So I can pause, come back here, and you'll notice I've got it so I can just barely see these buttons. So I'm getting it out of the way as much as I possibly can. Another thing that I find is exceptionally helpful for me, anyway, is to get this guy instead of, come on, here, instead of down here, you can put it up here, but you're taking up valuable real estate so far as what the kids can see. Most of our boards are down low enough, kids can't see this bottom. And so I like to have all of that stuff down on the bottom so I don't have it taking up the real estate that the kids can actually see from. Okay? So let's move on and let's go to the next screen. Welcome to Smartboard Advanced Training. And I, I talked about the video. I've already talked now about what we can do to get more icons down and get rid of icons that we don't want. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this guy right now because I've been thinking about getting rid of it for a long time. <laughs> Okay, because it's just taking up space that I don't want it taking up space for. Okay, so my recording thing is down and out of the way, and I'm ready. Now, when you're setting up your your screen, one of the things that you might want to do also is get this guy over on the other side. You all see how I did that? And I'm going to do it with the pointer, with the mouse, so that I can have that show up on the recording, but I'm clicking that guy to get it back to the other side. Okay? And you'll see the same arrow on your toolbar on the bottom, and so that's that's not going to be an issue for you. Uh, so if you notice here, I've got a left-right arrow that you can see down in this area. I'm doing that for the recording's sake. Okay? Whenever you're doing a recording, it's always nice to point because they don't see you. All they see is what's up here on the board. Okay? So if I want to control my sequence of slides over here, it's because I have my room set up in such a way that it's easier to do it over here. Okay? If I want to use a different place, I would do that over here. Okay? I can also do it from this side. And you don't have to change anything in the smart board. So it's very, very nice to be able to do it in, in different places. And so let's get right into it and how to video and what you do. To get the video recorder, right-click the toolbar like I just showed you. The toolbar anywhere down here. This is what I refer to as the toolbar. This guy right down in here and here and here. Okay, this whole thing down here. All right. If you want to get rid of ink, by the way, there is a nice little new thing that has shown up recently. Do I have it up here? Oh, where is it? My clear the ink thing. There is a clear the ink thing. Let's go ahead and put that back in. So, anybody remember how to do that? Yeah. How do I get my icons? Right click. Good. Okay. So I'm going to go back down here. Right click. Come on. And let's get that clear the ink. Clear the ink is a very, very nice little tool. I'm going to put that little dude right in the middle this time. And you can notice you can put things wherever you want them. And clear the ink is cool because when I make these marks that I've just made, I can get rid of them. Now. Keep in mind, everything goes away with ink. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you got to make sure you use it properly, and you'll get used to that. It's just sometimes, a matter of, yes, Sometimes question. I have the, all the type, type part, if you're also on YouTube. The type part will happen if you're doing an instant question. It'll get rid of your type. The question goes away. Okay. In those cases, Control-Z, about one second. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, all was not lost. <laughs> Hallelujah. Will bring the written ink back to? Uh, probably. Uh, I, if I control Z right now, yeah. the ink comes back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, huh? Nice job on that. So I just uh, cleared it again. So I've started the recording, and I I'm going to use tools like I used during the lesson. Did y'all see where I got that? Right down here. It's your little shade tool. And you can manipulate that from the side. You don't have to go to where you see the little button. Okay? And by the way, everything that I'm saying and everything that I'm doing, you will have on your recording. So, we start the recording, which we already did earlier. First students will take you out of sequence, just like I had happen with me this morning. But it's nice, once you have everything up here, I like to prepare my lesson in advance and follow a track. And as Dan found out when I shared that with him, it was like he called me up two, three days after he started doing that. And he said, Liz, I can't believe it. It's so nice to have it. I got it. You know, he just couldn't say enough about it. And it, it, I thought it was because, and I know Dan doesn't have a bad memory. I have a bad memory. Okay. So having a track to run on is very important to me. And I don't know about all of you, if you have more than one, one period of the same class, do you remember what you did with the last class to do with the next class? And does the next class get the full benefit of what you learned from your first experience with this particular lesson in your first class? Because I add to myself as I go. I had a lot of time with this one. I, I may not be adding anything, but I, I probably will. And I, you'll see that happen as well. Recording can be paused to make something that would be time consuming that you want to just appear on the screen instantly in the recording. Okay, whatever is on your computer screen, and by the way, I don't use this to keep people from seeing things. It really helps to train the eye to see what it is that you're talking about and not wander. At any rate, whatever your computer screen is also shows on the smart board and it gets recorded along with your voice. The recording is coming from the microphone that is on the laptop right now. Okay? And I tested that out last night to be sure it worked right. <laughs> One neat thing that I love to do is to go to a website. And we can go to my little website. By the name of this. And now we can go to my website here. And I'm just going to show you that you can get a link by going up here to the address bar. Okay, and you'll notice that my ink is still working here. See, I'm on a web page now. And it's still recording my ink, which is very, very nice. And so I'm telling you that I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to use a control C. If you don't know about control C, that's for copy. And now I'm going to go back with Alt Tab. Oops, I thought I was. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Anyway, normally you can do that. When when the recorder is on, there's some things that it disables, and Alt Tab is one of those things. But now I can put if I like, and you'll notice that we have a little thing down here to add a page. Let's add a page. And I'm now going to do Control V, which is a paste which didn't obviously get my last page, which didn't get that. Well, son of a gun. Let's go back down here and get this back up. You know, when I'm recording, that you don't get as good as stuff. Come on, Control C. And let's see if I can make that work now. Control V. There we go. And you'll see now that I have a hot link. And I, this guy is your link. And by the way, what I like to do is minimize these guys so they don't take up a lot of space, and I still have my little button. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you see it takes me right there. Very, very handy, especially if you want to get a YouTube video in or something like that, which I'm going to show you being used later, which is a lot of fun. Okay. So there we are, and if you don't want to keep this page, you can just get rid of it. Okay. And we can go back up. And so addresses copied to the browser or from the browser can create those little guys. And here I have pointed to my little recorder. And that is the video recorder where I have it listed. 
I can move this doodle dude just by click and hold. I can move him to any part of my bar that I like. Oops, I thought I could. Where are you going? I know you go other places. Hmm. It must not work with the video recorder on. I'm going to do a pause just to double check on that. Come on, where's my video recorder? Oh, popped up on me. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm not going to mess with that right now. But at any rate, uh, the you know that you can move things in and out of that bar, and that's the important thing. Where to go get help? Uh, this is awfully nice to have available. You go to www.smarttech.com, uh, smart and that will get you all the stuff at Smart. And the Smart Exchange, you notice I did a little hot link here. I can get the Smart Exchange from putting in this address into my, you can do a copy paste, even though this is a link, that is something that you can actually do a copy paste with. Okay, double click in there, and now I can do highlight, control C, and paste that into an address bar. Uh, a lot of you who are somewhat technically advanced are able to do that already, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. So I can go to Smart Exchange by clicking here, or this is available for the toolbar if you don't already have it. So you can go either way. I, I did it both ways here, so you can see both ways to do it. All right. Here we go. Now, this is, this is an area that when I was first getting started with the smart board, I didn't understand at all. And so I, I already showed you how to do the top to bottom, left to right on the toolbar, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to show you how to use the galleries. And by the way, these are just arrows. If you used any graphics software before, you know that you can click those guys and move them around. I can make them longer. I can make them shorter. I can do some really fun stuff with them. Uh, I'm going to leave that highlighted and go over here. And we're going to do each of these guys in more depth in just a moment. But right here, I can make that guy thicker if I want. See how that guy got thicker? You have to have it highlighted. If it isn't highlighted, it doesn't work. Okay, but I can go right in here, and I can make that as thin or as thick as I want it just by clicking here. I can also change the colors. Yes, question. Um, it's more in the context of um, um, increased chemistry. How yes. often do you import stuff? How often do you... Constantly. Um, are you also... <laughs> um, for like the periodic table or things like that, does the smart board software have stuff where you can update it? Do they have compatible stuff? What's your subject? Math, obviously. Math, sure. Um, There's lots of stuff in math. Yeah. Have you gone to the exchange? Um, I I used to work at the smart board, but um, oh. I was just told that I would have a minimum for three months and then it would be taken away from me, not anything like this. So I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, get yourself on the list. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, I have myself on the list. How, how you can be used without, uh, you can do everything he's doing without with the smart, smart software. With the smart software. Do you know how to download it? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah, and you can download that on any computer. You can have all of your students download it. And you can upload to the web. You got a website? If you don't have a website, they're available for free. Or you can pay a small fee, whatever. I pay $35 a month for my website because of the way my my um, my website is organized. It's programmed in ESPX, and that just means that you have to have a particular server that will give you that function. And so I, I pay a lot for it. But yeah, you know, websites are really easy to get a hold of. No problem. And you, you should have one for your, your class. You just There's no excuse not to have one. Because it's such an easy way to communicate with, with parents. So like if you had a calculus lesson, your student was absent uh, today, mm -hmm. and you wanted him or her to see it, you could upload it to YouTube like he's going to show you a little later. And they'll be able to see and hear uh, the lesson, and they'll hear your voice uh, like he's showing you right now. It's just an amazing tool. Mm -hmm. 
you don't need the smart board to do everything he's doing. It's just a right. smart problem. Now let's move in on this guy. This is not necessary because we already did it. So I'm going to move on. How to use the galleries. My content. Wow, what a powerful, powerful tool. Once you get in here and you see this little guy right here, my content, and you click on that, you can put anything in here that you want. You can put in pictures, you can put interactive multimedia, you can put in notebook files and pages. There's just no end to what you can store here. What would you put in here? This is stuff that you're going to use on a daily basis. Okay, and I'll show you some things that I use on a daily basis. Let's open up pictures, and you can see if I wanted to show you about. Okay, there it is. And once this is here, you can delete it or do anything you want with it. But I'm going to just delete How it. How did you get that picture? Uh, th this is actually available. Just a second. Let me get rid of this. Delete. Okay. Um, you can get this. You've got your. Uh, there's my little smart gate. Oh, okay. Let's get this out of the way. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Right here, you can get the visual reference to your particular responder. Whatever responder you're using, that's what will come up. And there it is. Okay. And then just store that in my phone. Yeah. And with all of the smart stuff, you can move things around. You can go down to the lower right corner. You can click on this dude. You can make it bigger, smaller. There you go. Really nice. Lower right corner is where you grab these guys usually. Okay, but let's go back in here and look again, <coughs> and and oops, see what's what's available. Uh, this is just a, a notebook page where I had uh, a word, and I just threw it in here for this particular presentation. So you can close these things back up and just open the stuff you want. This is something that I use a lot. All you have to do is click and hold with your left mouse button and drag something in. And now, if you want, you can set up your timer for whatever period of time you want. Sometimes you have to click this stop button before it will work. I just do it by, by habit now because I've been frustrated by it not working some, sometimes. And so. Now it's going to count down and it will give you a nice little pause. I like to turn it up and I, just before it goes off I hold my ears and the kids know what's going on. But that, that's nice when you're taking a test or, or whatever and you can get rid of it anytime you want. Okay, You can drag anything in. Oh, this is a nice little calculator. I like this little calculator because when you use it, three plus 6 equals, and you're going to be able to press this, and it puts it on the board, which is nice. And why do you want that on the board? Maybe you're going to include that now into a calculation. You don't like how big it is? Make it bigger. Nice. Okay, you don't like the font? Go over here. See where I just was at? The little A for art. And... Let's make that bold. Oh, that's nice. Well, let's change the font. Ta -da. See, I'm doing things fast now, which you won't remember, but you're going to have it on the recording. Okay. And uh, what if I wanted to change the line style? Line style will also change the size of this. Uh, it, it will change its colors. It will do whatever it is. Even though it's this is text, it will do what, what would normally happen to a line. So this, this little color stuff here is very, very nice to be able to have. And so originally what I did is I used that little calculator, which I had stored in there, which is in the gallery stuff, and I just brought it back in. Let's go back here and see. You were asking about that periodic chart. This is a wonderful periodic chart because it allows you to do all kinds of fun stuff. And you know, you can, uh, is this best, a, best thing you can do is... Is this a part of the smart board, tech, like smart board stuff, or is this software that you downloaded from 
Um, that was in the, this was in the exchange. It was actually in the gallery. Mm -hmm. I had not realized it. I was, I was doing a lot of playing that I haven't had time to do preparing for this. And so I, I did that. Also, yeah. you mentioned that you weren't doing that. Are you using PowerPoint? Um, currently, no. Okay. So you have can them, import so. your PowerPoint lesson from the SMART and then take advantage yeah. of all the features that SMART has. I'm just curious on how it, if it's like how easy it is to upload to YouTube or something like that. Like, and oh, that's that's simple. Account. That's simple. Um, and just real quick, uh, in in terms of YouTube, if you'll notice, one of the things that I've done in my in my uh, website is I've got a, a place called um, uh, Web Health Share. And I have over 200 videos up there on YouTube. And if you're here on campus, you're going to have a problem with YouTube. But basically, you know, this can be taken in and go on up to YouTube. We're going to. So this is like an app, like this is every day your lessons are like lessons by title that I'm seeing. Yeah, uh, this this goes by this particular one was because uh, I was doing with let's see let's get rid of this guy come on down 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 ah, come on let's get this back up how efficient is your internet connection because mine sucks mine's very good are you talking about here at school mm -hmm. yeah it depends on the time of day sometimes it's worse than others like sometimes uh, this guy is really going fast today. Do you have wireless or do you not have wireless? Uh, both. That guy's wireless right now. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm set up and you can ask Deb and you can get this kind of set up. Not to take this particular switch, but uh, something that I find is exceptionally helpful because I, I am overloading my computers so much because I have so much stuff on them. Mm -hmm. I, I go back and forth from one computer to another. Frequently. Now, I've got this whole presentation here. Now, I can't see it through up and down, but I can get out of here. Oh, I was just starting to uh, put something up here, and I got distracted. But I, I'm going to show you one of the things that you can do to, uh, and this won't be on. Yeah. No, that won't be recorded. Um, uh, I'm going to switch over to the other computer now anyway, because i got to stop this. I want to show you what what's going to happen when I stop my recording. Okay, I've got every I've got the screen pretty well cleared now, and when you stop the recording.